Hello, greetings everybody. This is Holly with Holly Hopkins Jazz and this is a an episode of Closet Conversations. This is episode number four, a giant number four. And tonight I'm so excited because we're going to be featuring a fabulous jazz vocalist out of the Charlotte, North Carolina area. For anybody who's been following jazz in the Charlotte area, they have definitely come across her name. This is going to be a great night. We're going to learn about all of her uh, events that she's got coming up and it's Nikki Canada. So with that, I'm going to bring Nikki in. Let, give me one second here. Hello, Nikki. Hey, Holly, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm wonderful. Good, good. Hey, Nikki, thank you so much for taking time to visit with us tonight. I know you're very busy, got a lot going on. Anybody that looks at your website alone knows that you've got a lot going on. Okay? <laughs> so I appreciate you taking the time to visit with us. The whole goal of this is to, um, hey, learn about you. And um, I was just kind of giving Nikki just a reminder of kind of what this is, because yes, I am in my closet. So periodically, um, I will do an episode featuring a great musician and artist, and um, I, I just do it from a closet. It just makes sense. It's closet conversations. So I'm happy that you could join us tonight, Nikki, and um, look forward to hearing about you. And with that, I'm going to just kind of dive right in if that's okay with you sure um i would love to know more about your overall product so dapper street productions and i know we're going to talk about a, a segment of that but can you just tell us how dapper street Productions started well you know again like you know you i've been a I, I started off as you know being pursuing trying to pursue a music career and uh, I kind of just fell into jazz. And, you know, as an artist, I know you can uh, definitely relate to where, you know, we're just out here just asking anyone, please listen to my demo. You know, where we can be heard, this is where we, we are. We're, we're, we're at every bar, you know, uh, we're at every nightclub, we're at every talent show, just saying, hey, you know, just, just listen to what it is that I have to bring to the table. So, um, did the music thing well you know i still I'm, I'm still a singer but um i had had the opportunity to perform with the charleston symphony orchestra back in 2015. okay yeah and um, i remember my uh booking agent that called me at the time and said hey you know i have this great platform for you and i remember when he told me about it i was a little nervous like wow i've never experienced this before i was a little nervous and almost chicken out and he said no you know you got this so i had a uh, i went to charleston and uh, I practiced for about 20 minutes with the orchestra and it was it was showtime. Oh. And I never forget that particular experience because I thought it just went so it was like, you know, this is just perfect. I was just built for this. And I remember I think I sent out about maybe 50 to 60 applicate. I mean, like um, uh, press kits. At the yeah. time, you know, I, I printed those out and I was just mailing them everywhere I could. And I didn't get not one response from those. Not one, not even a no. And I thought, well, surely I didn't have this experience for nothing. And, yeah. you know, I ended up going to the Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, Symphony Orchestra and did some work with them. And um, I just said, you know what, the, just the way that I'm built, if no one's going to get me a, give me a stage or a platform, I'm going to create my own. Awesome. And I remember saying, you know, I'm just going to start my own business and started Dapper Street. And I had started the Dapper Street Jazz Orchestra. And I did my first show. It was called... Um, Lady Ella, you know, and I had it at the, um, oh gosh, what is the, uh, anyway, I had had that first show in Charlotte. Yeah. And um, like I said, you know, all those no's, I just said, you know what, I'm going to create my own stage. And that is how Dapper Street was born. Dapper Street has been in existence for the last seven years. And um, I mean, it's my baby and, you know, just growing, you know, started off doing small shows and about 10 to 15 people would show up. You know, and now we've built an audience that, you know, well over 200, 300 people will show up for uh, the jazz event. So I'm just, you know, I'm proud. I'm proud of her. You, you know, be should be proud. Yeah. I think that is amazing. I um, am 
this is so cool because I do research, of course, before I get on here, but I did not put that together. Um, I saw your performance online with the Charleston Symphony Orchestra. I, I realize you may have done multiple, but it was a beautiful, lovely, lovely performance. Thank you. And um, loved seeing that. So that is very, very cool uh, how Dapper Street Productions was born out of that uh, drive that you have. Hey, you definitely, I've known you for about five years. Um, we have kind of followed each other on social media and all that. I first found out about you when you and I each were featured performers, uh, different nights, but at um, the O. Henry Hotel series. I don't know if yes. you remember. Oh, yeah. gosh, yes. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes. so it's been about five years ago. At that point, you were two years into Dapper Street production. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. always, always, always admired uh, your marketing, everything about what you do. So it's really cool to get some behind the scenes, how this developed type story. Yes. Yeah. I always tell people, you know, you never let no stop you. Yeah. You know, build your own platform. You know, and what I love about Dapper Street, even though I, I built it because, you know, I got tired of people telling me no, I wanted to build this platform for other artists, yeah. you know, to give people a place to where they could express themselves and still understanding that a lot of artists don't understand or don't want to be bothered with the business aspect of it. Mm -hmm. They just want the stage, you right. know, and um, I wanted Dapper Street to be that to be that place, to be that safe stage to where you could just come and express yourself. Well, you definitely, you're doing it. You are absolutely doing it. And it's, it's again, it's super cool to hear a little bit more about the background. Now, I, I'm, I, this is just super cool. When I reached out to you to do this interview, uh -huh. I, uh, it's something you're, you were one of the people on the list that I wanted to get to and everything. Um, and you, you did me a favor a few years back in one of my other areas of business. And I really appreciated that. And you've always been supportive online. So I really, I really wanted to feature you in one of these episodes. But after I reached out to you, I realized that you and I both are uh, being represented on April 22nd. Yes. Huntersville Parks and Rec Department performance for the community. Yes. And um, I am, I was like, oh, this is just meant to be. So uh, tell me about the program that you are going to have at that event. Okay. So I'm really excited now because Dapper Street is presenting uh, the Dapper Street Kids. I launched Dapper Street Kids last, no, was it last? No, I, yes, yes. I launched Dapper Street Kids last year and I'm really excited. This show um, is called Jazzerific. So we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, have a few artists on stage, but with Jazzerific, we have a show. It's uh, with Miss Essie and the Nifties. Dapper Street, we have a little, a band called the Nifties and we teach kids about the evolution of jazz. And it's really, really fun. Um, and uh, I, actually our characters, Jazzabug and Soul Diggit will be there uh, in attendance as well. So I'm really excited. I just, um, I have been, Dapper Street Kids has just been, in my heart for the last 15 years, even before I started uh, Dapper Street. Um, my actually, the whole kid thing was, it was birthed a long, long time ago. So I felt like it's time. And uh, we've had this show several times in Charlotte. So I'm looking to take the show outside of, outside of Charlotte. I, I plan on traveling with that particular show. I think it's phenomenal. Um, I have, looked it up online and watched some YouTube videos. We could talk about Dapper Street TV in a minute as well, but I've watched a few videos. It's, it's absolutely, it's delightful. It just seems like a very engaging, fun uh, type thing that yeah, it's family friendly and it, it engages the kiddos and introduces them to something new, which is very important, yeah. um, maybe new to them, maybe not. Um, and then also, I think the parents enjoy it just as much as the kids. They do. They do. I get uh, emails saying, you know, I wish it was longer. Yeah. You know, we the parents would just wish, wish it was longer. But, you know, for the kids, about an hour show teaching them about something, I think that's as you know, with attention spans, hours great, but the but the parents they enjoy it as well, and it's evolving. That's yes. the cool thing about you know the show it's 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 new and it's evolving, and you know you make the mistakes, you're like you know how can we make this better? So 
Yeah. But it's, it's just, the, the process is still fun. Uh, well, I think it's just great. And so, again, for those of you who are watching, thank you for joining us. And we realize some of you may be watching this later at a later date. Um, and this is Nikki Canada. We're so excited to have Nikki here. She's telling all about Dapper Street Productions, which is her production company, which features artists and, and herself. She's a wonderful performer and then she's also spun off Dapper Street Kids, which is a great program. Um, I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, and I, of course, let me before I switch off, let me just mention she, each her, her act and then Holly Hopkins Jazz will both be featured coming up at Veterans Park. Yay. Huntersville, North Carolina, Saturday, April 22nd. Yeah. And Nikki's program will start at 4 p.m., so be sure and get there. Bring a chair. There's going to be um, food vendors. There's going to be beverage vendors. It's going to be a great family day. Yeah. And then at about 6.15, uh, we'll switch over and Holly Hopkins Jazz will come on. So it's going to be lots of fun. And I know I can't wait to see and hear Apple Street Kids. Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm excited is because I have I've been following you for years. We have talked, but I have never seen you perform live. So uh, I look forward. I look forward to Saturday. Next well, Saturday. it'll be fun. I'll be so tickled to see you in person. We, yes. We're going to do a selfie. We're going to okay. do a selfie together. Okay. okay. We're going to do it. Now, let me show everybody. I'm going to share the screen here just for a second. And I'm going to show everyone how they can find more out about Dapper Street. So this is Dapper Street Productions. You have a lovely website, Nikki. Thank you. Yes. So you can see all of her information, of course, across the top. She's got some very cool projects she's working on. Really take some time. Check Check out her website. It's just amazing everything she's got going on. And right here is Dapper Street Kids. Now, before I click on that, I just want to show you for upcoming events. It's just right down below here. You'll get to see everything that she's got going on. All right. But let's go back up to Dapper Street Kids. Again, this is just amazing. And I'm so curious <laughs> how this project came along. I am curious to know, you mentioned that uh, you had this idea, you know, several years ago. It's been an idea in the making. And then you've got these caricatures, which the artwork is amazing. Um, Thank you. Then you have people, real people who represent you in these different programs. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have the live version of the characters of the Dapper Street characters. That is really cool. That is yes. really cool. Did so? How did the artwork even develop for this, Nikki? How did that come about? You know what, man, this has been years. See, when I started out, I had a idea that I wanted a a girl. It was her name was Jazzabug. And Jazzabug started out literally as like a bug, like an insect, but I wanted her to look really human with wings. Uh -huh. And this might've been about 15 years ago. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, as I started along this musical journey and then I thought, you know what, Jazzabug is me. Yeah. You know, and I, was like, I don't want her to be a bug anymore. I want her to be a little girl. Yeah. And so that's really how she evolved. And then I thought, okay, now I have jazz bug. And, you know, as an artist and even as a business person, you think, okay, you can't put this stuff out here till you get things trademarked and copywritten. Yes. You know, so I, I had to hide this thing for a long time. And then I thought, jazz bug needs some friends. Mm -hmm. So then along came So Dig It. Oh, and cool. then we had jazz, uh, Blues McCool. So um, I just, I'd always, because I want to get into uh, animation. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to get into cartoons and things like that. So really, yeah. that's how it started, because I kept thinking, you know, I, I really would love to just do Disney and all of those things. And then once I started the Dapper Street Kids, I was like, you know what? These kids are for my music production company. Mm -hmm. And um, everything just is something how, you know, you start off with this idea and you see how things evolve. Yeah. You know, and I never saw the characters here, right. but everything's just flowing. So, you know, um, like I said, I would like to get into cartoon and animation. So we'll just see where this goes. Hey, we'll you know, I, I told you when we talked preliminary, I see you, you, you dive in 
And I love that about you. Um, you dive in, you figure it out and it shows. And I'm so uh, excited to see this end result or current end result uh -huh. as it may continue to develop for you. Uh, that's just going to be a really cool program. Again, everybody that's just jumping in. This is going to be uh, downtown Huntersville, North Carolina. But yes. hey, you can hire Nikki to come see you where you're at. So reach out to her directly. Uh, but if you're in this Lake Norman area or Charlotte area, please plan on joining us at Veterans Park Saturday, April 22nd, starting yes. at 4 p.m. So you can see Dapper Street Kids and Nikki Canada as they put on a great show for uh, the kids in the park area and for the adults, myself, yeah. you know, included. So, and then stick around at 615, uh, Holly Hopkins Jazz will be performing. And I got to tell you now, just like that, 15 minutes has gone by, Nikki. It has. There's so much that I want to share more, but maybe, hey, you know what? We'll just we'll have to do it again. Two, yes. part two. Exactly. Today and follow up on some of this, but. Tell me, uh, what's your next performance uh, coming up for the production company, Dapper Street Productions? What What's your next show that you're going to be having? Well, you know, I had a couple of shows that were that I had on the books and I had those canceled. You know, again, like any production company, sometimes we have to kind of scale back to kind of sure. look at things. And But uh, the next big one is going to be in August. Awesome. Um, awesome. And it's called She is Jazz. And it's uh -huh. going to be a, um, a women empowerment jazz event. I actually have... Um, Paula Atherton coming in from New York. This is wow. going to be a beautiful. Yeah, we're, so we're going to have a, it's going to be a great women empowerment jazz event. It's going to be in August. You can actually go to my website and uh, and and click through the link and to get more information. But that's the next big event. Like I said, I had to put some more events on hold just to kind of, you know, just, you know, we're scaling and pulling back and things like that. So that's right. Well, you're always creating. So no matter what is going on, I know that you're always creating. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Let me, let me real yeah. quick. I did, I have, I did do a partnership with the arts and science council. So I do have some events in the summer coming up for right. the kids. We're going to be doing a lot of, a lot more jazz horrific events. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those will start in June and those that events are actually on the website as well. So yeah, we, we do have a busy schedule. I don't know how I forgot about that. That's okay. It's all there. Hey, if you ever need to know your own schedule, check your website. It's already on there. You've got yes. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. So for those of you who may be just joining, this is Nikki Canada. And hey. Super talented lady here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Hey, Nikki, thank you so much. Before thank you, you Holly. Go, I would really, really like to know, again, trying to know you as an artist mm -hmm. um you're when we talked the other day what came to mind for me was your musical heartbeat uh yeah. i really i really when you present there that comes across to me like there's an engagement and everything and i appreciate that that's one of the things i appreciate about you but what kind of gets you excited what gets your musical heartbeat pumping you know, what can you share that with us? I know that's a hard question. In like it is a hard question. I mean, I know that, you know, I grew up in a musical family. OK. You know, and uh, my grandmother owned a juke joint. I don't know if you all familiar with what a juke joint okay. is. Oh, tell us. But tell she us. Owned one. Yeah. Yeah. She owned a juke joint. Um, Almost kind of similar. If you ever watched The Color Purple, mm -hmm. that kind of environment, you know, and I remember just as a young girl, you know, even like the alcoholics used to come through the door. They never had any money, but they always wanted to drink. And uh, <laughs> There was an old dusty jukebox in the corner mm -hmm. of uh, my, it was the, actually, uh, it was called the stand. My grandmother called it the stand. So you had, yeah. you know, people that were coming through the little town that would visit. Yeah. Um, so I used to sit and listen to the music that was playing, the jazz, the soul, the blues, you know, that's how I was exposed. And, um, you know, I didn't, in my household, like I grew up Christian. So mm -hmm. jazz was not allowed in the house. Jazz was yeah. considered the devil's music, yeah. you know, but the foundation that I had, you know, when I would be with my grandmother, I just remember those. So it's kind of, it's nostalgic. And I, I don't know. I just, um, like I said, I grew up in a family okay. of musicians and singers. That's so great. singing is just what we do. Even mm -hmm. if we're talking, we always got a song. It's just who we are. It's like, it's just in you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, Dapper Street to me is just almost like a part of a legacy. You know, mm -hmm. as me having that particular company, it's almost like, you know, I'm I'm paying homage to um, my grandfather. My grandfather used to sing in a quartet 
you know, nice. he used to travel, you know, so it's almost like Dapper Street is, is dedicated to grandma, to grandpa, yeah. you know, so that's really my heartbeat of Dapper I love Street. It. Yeah. I love it. Well, we love hearing about what makes you tick as a musician and artist and how you began. We've learned a lot of great things about you tonight, Nikki, and we appreciate you opening up and sharing that with us and uh, wish you the very best. And we'll keep following you. And hey, we're going to check out your website and follow you. And okay. um, I personally will look forward to seeing you on Saturday, April 22nd. I, um, I can't wait. And I, again, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, let's let's do let's let's look. I look forward to part two. Sounds good. We'll do it. All right. All Take right. care, everybody. We'll thank see you. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Nikki. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye.